record all of the talks, and there's no chance that anything that learners can say or do that can appear in the stream. And this also means that we can immediately take, we can immediately release the videos online to everyone, which is something that's always been a problem with other courses we do. So I'm Richard Darst. I work for Alto Scientific Computing, and Enrico's here with me. Hello. Who also works for Alto Scientific Computing. Yep. Um, and we also have, uh, one of the benefits of this Twitch method is that we have other universities taking part. So we have a big group of people from the University of Oslo who are watching, um, who are watching via their own meeting. So we'll have some parts together and then we'll break up for different parts between the two universities in the first lesson. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah. So as you may have noticed, we're sharing a vertical screen here instead of the traditional horizontal thing. So this is one of our theories. So normally when you see a sh screen share, it's the landscape mode. But whenever you need to follow along yourself with a web browser or something, that ends up taking up most of your screen, so you're not able to follow along. So we've arranged this so that you can put the uh, stream or shared screen on half your screen, and the other half is available for you to fo have your own web browser, follow along, do your work. Also, we have um, one other thing. We have HackMD. Enrico, would you like to talk yeah. about how that works? Yeah, I'm actually, if you want to show my window. Sure. You all got an email, or at least most of you, because somebody registered a few minutes ago. Uh, you should have received an email, and in this email, there's this um, HackMD. So the idea of HackMD is that it's like a Google Docs, but, um, you know, well, it's, it's, it's a little bit easier maybe to edit. Uh, all at the same time and what is useful is that uh, you see now the window you should see the same window if you have the link and then you click on the pencil on top and you know you can just start editing it so the the top part i have already here it's basically what richard was explaining this this teaching material and this is how we could arrange your your you know browser window and terminal window so that you can have all in the same room but what is nice of HackMD that if you join, you can actually ask something here, you know, or for example, we could test it right now. Let's do a nice breaker. If you all visit this HackMD link, you can put your, your, your mouse into one of these spots and start typing, you know, what do you wish to learn today? And this is nice rather than using a chat because, um, because how can I say, the, the, the question stays for the future. We can take more time to answer some difficult questions. We can, you know, it's it's more asynchronous in this sense. So should we all test it? Should we all try to, what do I wish to learn yeah, today? Let's see what I wish to learn. And I think this is one of the most interesting parts of doing it this way because really you don't need voice to ask a question. And in fact, um, using voice means that only one person can talk once, but here everyone can ask, can ask and ask, answer questions at the same time. And we have some dedicated people that are watching the HackMD and will answer every question you may have. It's also nice because this, you know, let's say that somebody asks a question here somebody wrote how to look cool like the hacker in the in the movies and I can and I can even write a comment you see yep <laughs> <laughs> so you can also interact with each other and when we can interact with you you can have nested comments they all kind of you know nest nicely and then if there's too many people if let's say that the number of people right at the same time now there's 18 and that's manageable you can always switch here with if you click on the eye 
and then it's just like a rendering of, of what we are typing so you can just watch you know if you don't have any question and if you don't need to comment on anything you know. Enrico can you say again how you edit HackMD yeah so basically in this now what I'm showing you is what you see when you open the link the link by the way I didn't mention it's also at the bottom of this uh, stream in the very bottom we we have the course page we have this HackMD chat and so if you also can click there if you don't find it and then you click the pencil here on top and then you can start editing and kind of chatting in a asynchronous way yeah okay so if you have any questions you have a hack md you can always ask and if you're in some of the other chat things you can ask there we should have people watching all of these and we can well keep it going yeah so um yeah should we begin then it's right at the time yeah oh and for so... hackmd you may have a lot of information overload here so basically there will be um two well there will be lots of people asking questions and lots of answers but it will stay here for the future so you can always return to it later and follow up afterwards so um should we begin yes 